Believe it or not, there have been over 200 road coasters built from the year 1992 all the way up to 2021. These have been from various manufacturers, most notably B&M and Vacoma. Sadly, I have only had the opportunity to ride 7 of these, all but 3 of which are clones that you can find at many parks around the world. One more thing before we get started, if you're not already please consider subscribing. We are well on our way to 500 subscribers, and it would mean a lot to me if you could help the channel reach this milestone. Now without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video, and these are my top 7 inverted coasters I've ridden as of April 2021. Number 7, Bat at Lagoon. The Bat isn't anything too special, and these first generation Vacoma coasters have been given the nickname Vacoma Hand and Bands due to the amount of headband experience. I will say the ride was a lot better than expected, but still nothing to brag about. Number 6, Mind Eraser at Elish Gardens. As this being my first SLC, I didn't really know what to expect. I knew it was going to be a rough ride, but I made the mistake and didn't brace myself well enough. My whole body was constantly getting tossed around as my head rattled back and forth. Overall, I would still take this over the bat, even if I can't fully appreciate the ride. Number 5, Con at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Yet another SLC in this list, my experience on Con was much better than Mind Eraser. I found Con to be a way smoother ride, and even a little intense. As for my ride experience, it was during the night closer to the front row. Con may not be one of my favorite coasters overall, but for simplicity of this list, it's my fifth favorite inverted coaster I've ridden. Number 4, The Flash Vertical Velocity at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. If you watched my video where I ranked the top 9 roller coasters at Discovery Kingdom, you'd know that I'm not a huge fan of the Flash. I know it's 150 feet, which speeds up to 65 miles per hour, but for whatever reason, I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Anyway, it's still a good ride, and definitely worth checking out every time I visit the park. Number 3, Silver Bullet at Knott's Berry Farm. The fact that Knott's built this without any land to work with is already impressive enough. You can see this coaster from almost anywhere in the park, not just because it's nearly 150 feet tall, but also because it travels throughout Calico Park, Fiesta Village, Camp Snoopy, and the front entrance. Although it does have an incredibly shallow first drop, the rest of the ride is pretty intense, and the Upward Helix Finale is a great way to end your ride. Number 2, Batman the Ride at Six Flags Magic Mountain. When I rode this back in 2019, Batman was running great. All the inversions were definitely forceful, and you get great views of Riddler's Revenge going up the lift hill. In general, Batman is a good ride, and I'm sure all its other clones are too. Besides that, what else do I have to say? I definitely loved my ride back in 2019, and I'm looking forward to getting back on it later this year. Number 1, Flight Deck at California's Great America. Flight Deck originally opened as Top Gun in 1993, and is one of the most intense inverted coasters. It's unusual to see a small custom b and invert, and this one is especially cool. Starting with this drawn first drop, this ride then maneuvers a vertical loop, upwards helix, zero G roll, and most notably, a classic b and corkscrew, followed by a helix over the lake outside the park. The ride is brief, but it accomplishes everything it needs to. Like many old school b and coasters, Flight Deck makes for a fast, yet thrilling ride experience. So that's going to do it for my top 7 bird coasters I've ridden. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next ride.